Hello everybody, my name is David, but you can call me Rev, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. In the previous episode, Yishtola and Urianje both sacrificed themselves to give us our next way forward, where we've made it to Alpha Shron, or at least that's the name of this original region. And we are now just interacting with the different denizens, so why don't we go ahead and do just that? So, N0055. Bloop bloop. Autonomous weapon deployment complete. Vanguard armament upgrade complete. Munition levels satisfactory. Combat readiness assessment nominal. Awaiting instructions from sir. Maintaining state of combat readiness. So they're going to war. But what does war have anything to do with wanting oblivion? Bzz. Measuring combat capability. Result negligible. Subject falls outside targeting parameters. Greetings, traveler. We are the Omnicrons, and our objective is self enhancement. In order to achieve this, we venture forth in conquest to acquire combat data and resources. Most recently, we succeeded in subjugating the home world of beings who strength was. Wait a minute. Y'all were the ones who invaded the dragon. Oh, right, because they said that they were mechanical. Yet through the endeavor yielded a wealth of combat data, the star was rendered barren and unable to yield resources. A subsequent costing determined that the losses incurred exceeded the gains. I would do the robot voice, but I'm bad. Greetings, traveler. While venturing outside the outpost, we were a malfunctioning unit. They do not heed source commands and indiscriminately attack all non omnicron for the sake of confusion, be advised that Sir is the alias of Stigma 1. Sir in issues instructions to our forces at the foremost of the six strategic matrices that bear the designation Stigma. So these were the guys who took out the dragons. These guys inadvertently caused everything. You learned a few things, so did I. All right, let's share our findings outside the outpost then, shall we? Ah, there you are. We finished surveying the area. This will come as no surprise, but there was no way forward. There were portals like the one we used to get here, but those worked. Oh, um, but those that worked only sent us to isolated aisles. As before, we must locate the embodiment of emotion that bars the way. What of yourselves? Did you find anyone to speak with? Yeah, I found a good number of robots, and these are the robots that took out the dragons. And they're just kind of going around just conquering places. This is like a materialistic, like, region. The Omicrons seek to advance themselves through conquest. Following their victory over the dragons, they stand ready for the next campaign. But their leader has yet to issue new commands, and so they wait. Is such a place who could it be that fits Orianji's description? A soul whose yearning for oblivion surpasses all others. Rianje said this? During our investigation before you joined, uh, joined you in Elagaya. So that's the way of it. I couldn't you just say that to all of us? Even when we know the place, it's currently a curious state of affairs. While the dragons and the EA long for death, the Omicrons long for conflict. As much as they may lead to destruction, it must be considered a distinct desire. In order to find the source of the dominant motion, I believe you should seek out their leader, this Sir. According to M032, the first Omnicom with whom you spoke, there is a console by which we might communicate with them. M032 also added that it would be a pointless exercise, but that in itself, I believe, is worth investigating. What say you? That's the only shot we have, right? So, a little side note. I've noticed that getting from... This is something random. So, off to the side, as we're walking towards this aisle, I have been working on getting my second, I guess, third classes up to level 90, right? And that, in my case, would be both Summoner and Scholar. But I want to say that, like... It's been significantly easier to level up from 80 to 90 than it ever was 70 to 80. Oh my goodness, it feels so nice. 
This appears to be the console. But it seemed unresponsive. Did you try to take a look? Uh, uh, try touching, smacking, all this stuff. No luck, I see. But there must be a way to activate it. There must. This looks like it's about to be voiced. <sighs> well, I'm out of ideas. As am I. Operating such consoles is trying enough. But if we can't even activate it... Didn't we have just asked one of those robots to come with us? Perhaps there is a way. First, consider the world that has been recreated here. All right. Its inhabitants were machines who gathered combat data to enhance themselves. And among the many wars they waged, the most notable was that against the dragons. All right. As you've doubtless surmised, I believe this was the home world of Omega. Sith oh, the okay. Defeated a device which generated massive bursts of lightning, its sole weakness. Yeah, because the robot. That's all well and good, but what does that. Wait. You're not thinking to strike the console with lightning, are you? We have no other choice. As a matter of fact, I am. Ask yourselves this. Why would an entity as puissant as Omega not be designed to suppress the effects of lightning? Because it relies upon it, or something akin to it, as a source of energy. All right, zap it. Zap, it zap. Exactly. And there is a good chance the same is true of the Omicrons and their devices. So, shall I cast caution to the wind and try something reckless and dramatic? Go for it, King. Go for it. Or I can use my custom made Omega Jammer. <laughs> you still have it. Sid and Nero's legendary device, which brought low the super weapon Omega. Wait, the actual device was much too big to lug around, so you must only have the control module. And Nero was getting all excited. Never mind. An old-fashioned spell will suffice. I'm sad. Oh well. Thunder. Well, we kind of inadvertently powered the device. It worked. Oh, that's a No mission orders have been issued. Why not? Has there been some manner of trouble? Reply. The extended operations unit is yet to determine guidelines for future assignments. All strategies are calculated, devised, and matched in accordance with set guidelines. So they couldn't find anyone to conquer? In the interim, all citizens are directed to maintain a state of combat readiness. Can you tell us why the Extended Operations Unit hasn't yet determined the guidelines? Unable to comply. Information unavailable or access restricted. In that case, is it possible for us to communicate directly with the unit? Maybe the unit doesn't exist in this area? Is there anything you can tell us? 
Have there been any abnormalities, like a, a threat to the star or widespread unrest? Reply. Negative. All citizens continue to operate at maximum efficiency. If your operations are suboptimal, please proceed to a maintenance facility for evaluation. Otherwise, stand by to a designated post. End reply. End transmission. Closing connection. I could activate it again, but I doubt it would be productive. What do you think? If all the Omicrons really were running as efficiently as it claimed, then I doubt they were hoping for life here to end. Would, it, would this be one of the groups that just ended up dying just as out of random? Told us, there just haven't been any new instructions and everyone is standing by. Should be standing by at any rate. If there are those that are neglecting their duties, Perhaps we can glean a clue from them. I propose we take another look around and also try to find the operations unit. All right, we got our new objective. Let's focus our search on the outpost. Isaiah and I will try speaking with the Omnicrons this time. Hopes that we learn something new. Meanwhile, you and Graha can perhaps observe them from a distance. These are these beings are systematic and routine by nature. If there are any that aren't, it shouldn't be difficult to spot them. If there are no questions, let's start. As we came this way, I believe I spied a promising vanishing um, vantage point. Follow me. All right, so I'll just meet you guys back over yonder with the uh, Omnicrons. Plus, I also want to get this ether current while I'm at it. All right, we made it over here. So now it's time to snipe out the right guy. Why are you here? Oh, wait, why was that one so fast? All right, we found the right one, but oh my goodness, it was, it was like, it was like, shoo, shoo, shoo. And I was like, I was like, no, my control stick can only go so far. Now I'm running aimlessly. Where? Let's see what he's, I'll say, let's see what, uh, Mr. Mr. Pinchy Pinchy got off. Ah, see it. Let's go see what our little rebel's doing, right? I left the base. Let's follow it. Oh, we don't leave best friend behind. I'll say best friend was over there looking adorable. Why do you leave all the way over there? I hate it here. Hello? Bzz. What is your query? Ah, you found it. What are you doing here? I am looking at the tree. Quite an unusual specimen. What's the device attached to it? The tree is a sample collected from another star. As it cannot survive in our environment, however, it requires life support. That is the function of this device. 
to go to such lengths to sustain it. There's something special about this tree? Being foreign matter, protocol requires that we study it. As this task has been completed, the specimen may be discarded. However, when I behold the tree, I am made to feel as though there is a problem. In order to become strong, we have continued to enhance ourselves like we did countless others. We conquered this star whence this tree came. It is the last remnant of a dead world. There is nothing towards which it may aspire. Yet it grows, expands its branches, sprouts leaves, and produces seeds. Why does it seek to continue? Why was it made to behave in such a way, and to what end? I do not understand. I see. Out of curiosity, does this pertain to your duty? No, it does not. My apologies. I shall return to my designated post and assume a cut state of combat readiness. So it was acting out of orders. Perhaps it was simply a malfunctioning Omicron. These are by no means uncommon, but it also possessed the ability to make decisions, one not unlike Sir. I believe this bears further investigation. To endeavor to live, even if we depend on forces beyond our control. Tell me, Vendor, one day when this adventure becomes part of your epic, do you think I'll be mentioning it? Of course, why wouldn't she be? You truly think so? That would be, uh... Nay, I shouldn't say such things until the moment comes to pass. Never mind the embarrassment. Well, we had best get on with the our task, right? Writing down, sir, and understanding the nature of the emotion which bars our way. I have a feeling I know who we're probably likely to lose next. Just a feeling. We should return to the outpost for now. The others will wish to hear about the Aaron Omicron. Gonna take the easy way back. Gonna take the easy way back, back. Time to take the easy way back. Time to take the easy way back, back. Wait, I was about to say, wait, wait. Uh, that would have been illegal if it wouldn't let me have passed over. Braha says you helped find a suspicious Omicron. That's good, because the units here were of no help. They all had the same thing to say about the extended operations unit. That there's no way to direct a dra range meeting. Still, that served to prove that it's business as usual at the outpost. But enough about us, tell us you learned something more useful. How many crown trying to make sense of the meaning of life? No, the others were even a fraction as philosophical. This unit may well be in a position of leadership, perhaps even ones that comp comprise, sir. As we know, the Omnicrons invade other stars and enhance themselves using their spoils of conquest. With this technology at their disposal, they should be able to alter their bodies, be in part order and whole. Setting aside the question of motive, if Sir, for example, wished to have an ordinary Omnicron's body, I see no reason why it wouldn't have been possible. The problem is how to go about ascertaining if that's what happened. When I attempted to probe further, it promptly ended the conversation. If it is indeed Sir, I doubt it would be willingly reveal its true identity. I have an idea. Are, are we going to fight them? We use our lightning on the console again, but we make it stronger. Much stronger. At that moment, should the unit exhibit a reaction, that could suggest that it has a connection to Sir. All right. We still have got an idea on our hand. I had a feeling you'd be on board. This time, you must allow me to do the honors. I will stand guard in case your in incantation draws sentry to the scene. 
For my part, I will approach our suspect and divert his attention. During which time, Vendor, I want you to observe closely for anomalous behavior. I should mention that shortly before you returned, an Omnicron appeared from the same direction. Rather than entering the outpost, however, it head off towards the console. At first, I assumed it was a unit on patrol, but perhaps... That could be our errant Omnicron. We must seek it out and begin our operation at once. All right. Alpha Noah and I will stand by at the console, and when it's time, I'll unleash a veritable storm. I'm going to let this episode go on a little bit longer because I wanted to kind of contain each area to its own episode, so... I think that that would make the most sense. This will work, I'm sure of it. After all, comrades are watching over us. Come, my friend. Let us find this doubt-plagued Omnicron. All right. I, I, I hit its knee. I hit, I was about to say, I hit its, um, Omni, Omnissi. It's Omnissi. Anomaly, you say? Performing diagnostic. Error confirmed. My connection to the central command is suffering from in intermittent failures. I must leave at once to present myself for maintenance at the nearest facility. Excuse me. What you need, my friend, is in maintenance. It is to confront the truth. While we spoke, our comrades struck the console used to communicate with Sir. That is the cause of your anomaly. You're connected to Sir, aren't you? Affirmative. To what end do you sought to assert this fact? I do not know. But before he speaks further, he must move away from the other units. Do not wish for them to know my true identity. Very well. Our friends are at the console. Let's meet them there. Yep, I was about to say, we, 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 we watched like his leg, his omnussy get ruined. All right. Guessing it's voice to cutscene time. Will you talk to us as Sir now? As you have surmised, I am part of the shared intelligence of Stigler One. Yep. It is was my charge to determine the optimal path to achieving my prime function. This body had been abandoned by its former owner and lay unused. I took it and abandoned my own, and with it, my duty. May we ask why you did this? From what we gather, it seems to be a personal matter. Is it because that tree? Why'd you guys at the end of being designed to look exactly the same? But he's still like a human itch. We did not feel secure. For we knew that the universe was home to civilizations aside from our own. Civilizations that may be stronger still than us. I would say the AIR since the AIR are immortal, so. Rather than risk becoming the subjugated, 
returns to the cabin with a subject guitar. We began our conquest of the stars, but we might acquire the resources and knowledge we needed to reign supreme. We were successful in that endeavor. So powerful did we become, we could lay low even the mighty dragons. But you ruined a civil like you've been ruining civilizations in the process. Out of fear. You were malfunctioning. I performed numerous full system scans, each time finding no issues. Yet the error persisted. It was then that I speculated. What could happen if we grew so powerful as to have no equal? To become stronger was essential to our existence. Our every action has been in service to this objective. But if nothing lies beyond this, can it be truly said that it was essential? Yeah. Have we been engaging only in wanton destruction? I think so. You could find no threat to justify your purpose. The Omicrons will never leave this star. They will stand by until the reserves of energy are spent. For I have no craft to offer them. It is not our place to pass judgment on the deeds of the Omicrons. But surely, this does not have to spell the end of your people. With your power and knowledge, the possibilities are endless. Why not seek out a new purpose? That is impossible. Why is it impossible? In the beginning, we have a higher purpose than our pursuit of power. But we must decide it when we so irrevocably altered our fundamental forms. When we cast aside our flesh, so too did we cast aside all that defined us. Nothing remains of who we once were. That reminds me of the ancients. I have no aspirations. No longer can I dream. The vital spark is lost. I see. Lost amidst circuitry and cold and commands. They lost their, I guess, humanity. <sighs> I believe I know how to overcome this despair. The words are ready in my mind, but ere I speak them, I want you to make me a promise. Be it across time or space, our promises have always connected us. And so I ask that you indulge me once more, that this won't be the end. You say it? I'll do it. Is that so? In that case, I won't hold back. First, I want to visit Ishgard with you, properly. We scarcely had time to look around last time. I should like it very much if you could show me the sights. 
Next, you must regale me with your greatest adventures in the places where you lived them, if possible. I may have read about all your deeds, but there is no substitute for a first-hand account. And last but not least, a new adventure together, unlike any we've experienced before. We'll travel the lands, cross the seas, and take to the skies upon the eternal wind, and it will be marvelous. It will. If you would humor me a moment, when we awaken each morning, how can we prove that we're the same individual who retired the night before? Through the remembrance of past events, Not tomorrow, right? tomorrow. we have our memories, yet there are times when we forget or recall incorrectly. What of our bodies, then? It is the same one, we might say. Yet, technically speaking, as living beings, our bodies are constantly changing. It will never be as it was at an earlier point in time. Our souls are no more immutable. On our star, people are known to inherit the souls of others, yet they are decidedly different beings. For my part, I've subjected my totality to much and more. I've made my body into an extension of a tower, blended my soul and memories with those of another self. And each time I would ask myself, what is it that makes me, me? Are you able to determine an answer? No, but that doesn't mean I'm confused. It simply means I'm the same as everyone else. So I posit this. Who we were need not prescribe what we now hold in our hearts. Whatever came before, what matters most is the present. For me, that is being here with my friends, full proud of how much we've grown together. So I urge you to not give up. Heed your heart's desire and hope that the future you long for shall be realized. I cannot. We cannot. We cannot understand desire, nor comprehend hope. We do not know how to create such things. We are not unlike you and I. I too have struggled to find the courage to express and embrace my wants. If you like, I will tell you a tale. A tale of a world on the brink. Of a people who never gave up on the future. Shadowbringers, Final Fantasy XIV. Of a man who realized his grandest dreams and then awakened to a grander reality. Oh, tomorrow's world just stops? Wait, 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 wait. I was vibing. I'm sad now. I was vibing. Pretty sure they've added an instrument every single time they've done, um, song but he made a bridge for us you idiot just once just 
once. Stay with us to the end. Oh, there's vocals now. All right. Unfortunately, we don't have no, too much time left, so I think that it's probably a good idea to go on ahead and end things off here. So thank you guys also very much for watching today's episode of, well, Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Next time, we're going to talk with Isaiah and then head up 